coming. James, we love my pups, my breeder supply. I've got Tammy running the phone for me, so she'll get involved in this too. So what's going on? Well, the answer is we had puppies yesterday, and we had puppies a little early, our fault. And so I want to talk about what I would call a preemie babies. Um, so they're in our incubator, um, and we've got oxygen running, and we're going to talk about all of these things, and we're going to talk about tube feeding. So what happened is this. Um, I'll just pull a puppy out so we can have a puppy in my hands while we do this. All right, where's a little puppy out? Okay, so these puppies were born yesterday about 7 o'clock yesterday evening. And they're not super small, but they are slick faced. So you can see this face doesn't have any hair on it, it's slick faced. And so what happens is if you have puppies more than about two days early, then their lungs have not developed the surfactant they need to do the transition properly from being in the amniotic sac with fluid all around them to transition to air. And so they have a problem breathing. And so the problem that you can run into is that you can lose puppies over the first 48 hours. And it's a fairly common thing to happen. Um, so what happened to us? Well, I'm supposed to know about this stuff. And uh, the mama was yesterday morning was at uh, 90.1 temperature, which it needs to be below 90. She was very little appetite at all. The problem was all the vets are going to be out of town. Nobody's going to be available and we've got I think you said 90.1, 90. 90.1, 90, 90, yeah, 90.1. So the rule for us is it needs to be below 90, it wasn't. Um, it was her first due date was yesterday, and she was nice and pregnant, so we knew that we were okay on that. So the problem was the vets are gonna be out of town, so the next opportunity to do anything was gonna be you know Monday or Tuesday, and I didn't think we'd make it through the weekend. So we elected to, we went to the vet, the vet did a digital exam, and she, the, her cervix was open, so I made the decision to go ahead and take the babies. 99.1, you meant to say 90. No, 90.1 was the temperature. We need to be 89 or 89.9 or less. So it was not where we need to be. So, so 98.9 would be take puppies, 90.1 is a little early. So Tammy's looking at me like I'm confused on this. So the rules on temperature is, I've got another video that tells you everything about how to uh, decide when to um, do your C-section and I want you to review that because it'll be useful to me. But suffice to say, we do have puppies that were born probably three days early. So more than two days early, you can run into trouble. So I'm going to show you another one here. I'm going to show you. So there's two in here. As my oxygen just fell out. So here's another small one. Again, you can see the slick face. There's another small puppy. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's been in a fight, doesn't she? She's cute though, isn't and she? She's got poopy all over her. Yeah, she neck does a little bit. So, all right. So, as an example, we've got Your some tube's other. Letting you know it's yeah, not in there. we've got some other ones that are that are bigger puppies, and they they are actually they do have fur on their faces. So this is an example where you know, you've got two small puppies, two bigger puppies, and two small puppies, you know, are just a little preemie. Not too bad, and we're going to make it. But I want to go through the process of what you do when you have a preemie puppy. So the first thing is, is they really can't be with, with mum very much when they're this small. It's just too, too, too risky. So we put them in our incubator, and uh, My Breeder Supply is the place where we sell these products. We manufacture these. So this guy here, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you a little bit of sales going on now. But this thing here is, come around to the front of this, Tommy. Hold the temperature right at the temperature you set it at. So this is set actually for 40 degrees. I've had it open for a little bit, so it just heated up just a few seconds ago. But this is gonna keep this nice and warm inside. This thing runs on a either an adapter you plug into the wall that it comes with, or a cigarette lighter adapter. So you can go to the vet, you can go places, you can plug this thing in your car, and you can still have a completely safe environment for your puppies. All right, so the other thing that we have here is we have oxygen. So we have here a oxygen machine portable oxygen machine. It's, I bought this on Craigslist. It's a used one for human beings. I think I paid 150 bucks for it, maybe 125. How do you know it's working? I've got a video on this, but we'll just talk about this really quickly. How do you know it's working? So the answer is, is you light up a toothpick and it's maybe, and then you blow the toothpick out and you give it some oxygen and my oxygen machine's turned down. Got a problem all of a sudden. Now what's going on with that? That's working. Oh, not the ladder at the two. You want it'll be okay, it's quite safe. Uh oh. Well. 
Well, I got a problem with my oxygen machine. Now it's pumping. Yeah, but I should be lighting that thing up. There it is. Now, you see it glowing? There it goes. See, it starts to glow. If you blow on it, it doesn't really glow very much. When it gets a good supply of oxygen, it will start to really glow nicely, and that lets you know you've got oxygen coming out of it. There it is. Yeah. See, I'm at, there it is. There it is. I'm out here in the wind. It's a bit windy, so it's you know, much easier to see it inside. But anyway, oxygen supply. That just go ahead and look inside there. So that just goes down inside it. It all stays inside. Got a little vent here. That's the environment the puppies have been in since yesterday evening. So I got up in the middle of the night at about four o'clock. I fed them when I went to bed at about one. They need to be fed every three hours. So I got up at four o'clock, did a quick feeding, and uh, now they're getting another feeding now. So how do you do it? So this is the product that we swear by. It's powdered goat's milk. This product here, Mindberg, you can buy it on Amazon. I do have a puppy care kit that includes this in the puppy care kit. So easy to use, it's powdered, comes a little scoop. You just take a scoop of this, pour it into a bottle with some hot water, nice and hot water, this is nice and warm. Shake it up and there is your goat's milk ready to go. And I don't want it free flowing, I want it so it just coming out a little bit. I don't, see there oh, it is, oh, I don't, oh, oh, I don't. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want it so that it's just coming out like crazy. I want yeah. to flood a puppy. Yeah. We're not going to use this right now. We could. And by the way, when I'm not using this, I just put this inside. It keeps it nice and warm for me. So I just store it in there. And that keeps it nice and warm for me. So I don't have to heat it up. It's ready for next time. It makes that very convenient. So, But we're not going to do the bottle thing. We might, we might actually, let's just quickly bottle feed a puppy just to show you that technique. So here's the puppy. And the technique is to get it, and they, they, they're not used to the bottle yet, so this is going to be a little bit of a strut. There it goes. And it's, and you will see, his, it's below his tongue. I don't have his tongue right. There we go. And there we go. Bottle feeding a puppy. And make sure you don't flood the puppy. Okay. Keep the thing, yep. So we're not going to do that because it takes a long time 20 minutes to bottle feed a puppy. We're going to, and then you can aspirate a puppy too. The problem can be is, is that you can get too much milk on a puppy, it gets in its lungs, and you can have a problem. So, a much safer and simpler way of doing this is to tube feed the puppy. So here we go. We're just going to turn this off. We don't need that right now, just make a noise. Here's my warmed up milk. I have, this is a, a, a 20, uh, you're going to feed about what they weigh in ounces, you're going to feed them in mils, in milliliters, every three to four hours. So a five ounce puppy gets five cc's or five milliliters of milk, not very much. This little tube is a French tube, it just fits over the end of the syringe. It has um, a little hole in the end of it, and I've marked it. You can buy this at your vet. You can buy this at your vet, or it comes with my puppy care kit. Um, so how do I mark this? I take the tube. So the tube is resting on the bottom of their rib cage, and I want to see, there's a little, I put a little black mark on it that tells me what that distance is, and there's a little black mark. When that black mark has disappeared all the way up to their mouth, I know that I've got it where it needs to be. I've got another whole video on this, so we'll just go ahead and do this really quickly on a puppy. You'll see how quick and easy this is to do. How much per puppy? So what they weigh in ounces, you feed in cc's or milliliters every three to four hours. So five ounce puppy, five cc's. I've got, I'm gonna get the air out of it. There's the air. So I've got 20 cc's loaded up. Got 20 cc's, 20 the mils. Got the air out of it. Okay. And I'm feeding four puppies each five cc's. All right, so. When did you feed them last? I fed them last night at 4.30 in the morning. Okay. So they haven't been fed in about four hours, so it's time for them to be fed. So here we go. So. It's definitely easier if you get the end of this thing on some milk because it makes it slicker, but we're not going to worry with that right now. So here we go. So what do we do? So we got to get this in the puppy. To, the, the fight is to get this above the puppy's tongue. And sometimes they're a little bit, there he goes. It's above his tongue. See his tongue? And then it See, swallows And he'll start swallowing it. I'm just taking Don't it easy. It. Just Let taking the it easy. Swallow it. Um, sometimes it takes a little few seconds to get there, especially if the thing's not wet. There it goes. I think it just went past the esophagus right there. There it goes. Now it's all going in. Where's the mark? There. And there's a little there's mark coming the up. Mark. 
and there's a little mark right there. There we go, hold it right there, and then just squirt in quickly, fairly slowly, but not too fast. Five cc's, and there it is, done. So you know exactly up. how much the puppy got that's instead right. of a bottle that takes that's, that's forever right. for five cc's. And we've got a nice, nice, nice full tummy. fat tummy. And so that's it. That's how easy it is to do it. So this puppy, you know, this puppy would probably be okay because it's got some, get starting to get some fur. But if we can just get past 24 hours, and these guys are doing really well, if we get past 24 hours, they're going to go back with mum 24 7 and all's going to be and good they with the world. don't get air in their tummy when you tube feed. That's right. You don't have to burp them. You don't get air in their yeah. tummy. It's such a. And with you saw bottle, how quick. You have to burp them. I got up at 4 30 and I spent five minutes and I tube fed all these puppies and I went back to bed. So I didn't ruin my night's sleep very quick. I know that they've had the right amount and they're all just go right back to sleep. So I do take a wet towel and I do stimulate them because they've not been with mum just to kind of make them pee and poop. And the only reason why they're not with mom is because they were born early and they just needed help. And mum's milk's not in yet. No. Because we're early. So we've got that little fight too. Yeah. So her milk, she's, she's, she's been with them a little bit. but. Uh, and we're like maybe a whole three days early. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're three days early. Yeah. I, it's, you know, she's got a little bit more fuzz to her face yes. than the other two. Yes. Let's I take mean, one of the other ones out and yeah. see them. So you see, this one's not really pooping, it's already no. been stimulated. Yeah. Well, it was all over her sister. <laughs> yes, exactly. So look the inside here. You put them in there, the black and eyes. That, that puppy will just settle down in a matter of a few, you know, 30 seconds, that puppy will settle down and just fall asleep. Yeah. They're just happy as clams in there. They just You just don't hear a thing. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's take this little small one here. Oh, come on. There you go. You can go to sleep right there. Show the difference on his face. Yeah, so you can see, see it here. See how slick see looking it is. Slick all the way around there. And he's he doesn't have as much hair up here on top either right. when he turns a certain way. Yes, yeah, so and look at his four legs. Yeah. A little bit, little but bit this less. This will all happen. This will all happen within a couple of days. We'll start getting fuzzy. Yes, yeah, so you just got to get past typically the forty-eight hour mark, and you're good to go. So yeah. you know, it's you know, it's my fault. I mean, it's, you know, people. I mean, I've been doing this a lot, and I and I tell a lot of people about for sixteen years. <laughs> yes, and I've got videos on when to see sex, and here I am making a mistake. And I made the mistake because I was forced into thinking I don't have anywhere to go. What I should have done is I should have waited for the proper signs: nesting, um, um, panting. Didn't get any of those signs. You know, I, I, I a progesterone test possibly. You know, and then I should have found a vet. If I've got to drive an hour and a half to Oklahoma City, you find a vet and you do it. So, yeah. you know, you just... But three of our vets that we were going to use were all, all going to be gone. They're all going to be gone. And I got in the latest I possibly could yesterday. So, you know, that's my excuse. But still, excuses don't count. You know, you really run a danger of uh, getting into trouble. And uh, I have a lot of people who say, well, the vet says they want to take them today because they won't be around. This is not the right answer. The right yeah. answer is you take puppies when they're ready. And if you start taking puppies early, you are going to have a problem, and I'm hoping we'll get away with this. But if you're not equipped for it, you won't get away with it. If you don't have oxygen, you don't have an incubator, uh, you're probably you're probably going to lose puppies, and it's that's not a good day. And it's just be we a really. We haven't had this incubator to keep them warm, and you know the oxygen to give them a little more oxygen because they're just not ready to be born yet. Um, we wouldn't have had puppies. That's right. That's right. Not this morning, anyway, no, for no, sure. No, it would be a heartache, wouldn't it? Well, All right. that little white female, she was just motionless last yes. night. And they were very slow to come around at the vet's office. I mean, it, it took five minutes before they even took a breath. I mean, I thought we were in trouble right from the get-go. But they got going, and they were very slow breathing. They were just <clears throat> like that once a minute. Like you know, they were e gasping for Even when it. we got them home, they were slow, weren't they? Until yeah. we got the oxygen on the them. The little girl, the little white girl was, but she's more yes. active today. Oh, much more active. Yeah, so here we go. yeah. Let him swallow it. So you can see he's licking away on it. Yeah. I'm not above his tongue. I'm below You're his tongue. You're not forcing so. it. You're letting the puppy yeah. swallow it There down. we go. Now I'm above his tongue. Go. You can see he's gagging right when he goes past his esophagus. Once you get past that, he'll have an e easy time with it. But I'm still... There he goes. You All of a sudden, it just goes fingers in. fingers are in the way. And there's a little black mark. And there yeah. we go. Pinch it right there so I don't lose it. Uh oh, oh, it darn. came off the deal. Okay. Here, I'll hang on. Yeah, here. I'll just put it back on. I, I don't like this kind of French tube. I like the ones that fit on the end a little better. Yeah. You know, but hey, it, it is what it is. It's the mark where it's supposed to no, be. No, it will be in a second, though. He's just spinning yeah. it out. There it is. Okay, we're back where we need to be. And here we go. And he's going to get. And you can see we're going to go down to the 10 mark. Not fast, slow. No. Nope. Nice and easy. And just slowly pull it out. There you and go. there he goes. 
Yep. He's fed too. Fat, see? happy puppy. Nice little, nice little Whoop, belly. I've missed it. <laughs> nice little fat belly. That's what yeah, you want to see. Yeah. The rounded yeah. belly. Not huge. I mean, when you bottle feed, you'll get an idea of what they could look like because they'll stop bottle feeding when they've had enough. Well, and they when get you bottle feed, they can get overflowed they and it comes out their nose. Huge, and... Yeah, they can get huge bellies, can't they? Yes. So that's another thing. You got it all is, over your leg, too. Yes. Here. That's another thing is to, uh, I'm going to stimulate her and see if she's going to peer poo for me. So these are four girls. So that's the other thing. Have yourself a napkin ready because if they do get some 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 milk coming out, just mop it up, mop it up in the mouth. This wicks it up pretty quickly. Same thing if you're bottle feeding. If you see milk coming out of the well, nose, stop immediately. The paper towel soaks up quicker and faster. Yep, paper towel. You can use a suction aspiration bulb to really have yes, a problem. Yes, you got a big problem. You got a big problem, but and, and I mean, if you have a big problem, you can take a puppy. And, and that uh, comes in your little kit and, too, doesn't it? Yes. So if if you have a problem. Get the puppy in your hand, stop, put his hand over his head so it don't come out, and then just go like this. Make sure you don't whack into something. So you've got to be careful about your surroundings. But what you do is you're going to let centrifugal force like You just that. fed that puppy, I know, so. I know, like that, like that. And that, if you've got puppy in its lungs, that will get it out of its lungs. So you're so going to make my milk come back up. Yes, yeah. I know. But look at this face, you can oh, see I this. Oh, I know. It's pretty slick, isn't it? Yes. Definitely, definitely yes. early. Definitely early. But. Yeah. But so far, look at them all in there. See the ones I just put in there? They're all just fast asleep now. Mm -hmm. Fast asleep. Mm -hmm. And they're good for another three hours. Yeah. I'm actually going to put them back with mum and see if mum will lick on them a little bit. Stimulate so, them a little bit more. They need that stimulation. Yes, www.lovemypups. Um, L-O-V-E-M-Y-P-U-P-S dot com. Love my pups. Or you can go to our place if you want to buy products that we have developed for specifically healthy people like you. That's at mybreedersupply.com. It's singular, mybreedersupply.com. And uh, hey, good luck with your Frenchies. If we can help at any time, call us, text us, whatever, we'll help. Um, and uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy the fourth. Bye-bye, everybody.